Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here with a brand new episode and it's going to be about hair care. So my today's episode is completely dedicated for people who are not genetically blessed with beautiful hair or are suffering from a lot of hair fall due to various reasons such as hormone stress pregnancy and post pregnancy hormonal fluctuations and whatnot so my hair type is more on the thinner side like the strands are really fine and i don't have a lot of hair by birth when i have started having hormonal issues pcos my hair has continued to fall and then when i got pregnant my hair got a little better but again after my son was born my hair started falling so i talked to my doctor and she said that it's very normal to have hair fall after childbirth some women have hair fall during pregnancy some after pregnancy it depends on the body type and hormonal issues each of us go through so if you are lucky enough to have already very beautiful thick hair then you don't need to worry that much but for some of us even if we lose like 20 30 hair it looks like a lot even though we all know that losing a hundred hair strands every day is pretty normal but still we all need to take care of our hair today in my video i'm going to share the things that have really helped me not necessarily that only who are suffering from hormonal issues can try the products anyone can try the products these are very safe affordable and widely available products that i'm going to be showing so you know one thing uh for bangladeshi girls i would say that the water is very important and i know that the water we get in bangladesh the water supply we get in bangladesh is not as good so in bangladesh you will see a lot more hair fall and the hair can become rough and frizzy as well it is because of the water and i don't know if you guys can find some kind of water filters to fix in your shower which i do and i'm going to be attaching the picture here uh, in the screen so you guys can see if you can find some kind of a chlorine filter that can really really change the game that's what happened when i came to the us and i was having a lot of hair fall it was it was like devastating for me because the drains always was blocked with my hair and it was kind of embarrassing as well because the hair was everywhere in the carpets whenever i used to vacuum i could see long black hair getting stuck in the roll so um, then i did a lot of research i talked to my husband and he came up with the idea that it might be because of the water so we have to do something about the water the water is not bad here uh, like you know bangladesh but um, still it has chlorine in it which actually impacts our hair and our scalp so we put on a um, chlorine filter in our shower and that has drastically reduced my hair fall however when i started my um, fertility journey as i as you guys know from a previous video i had taken a lot of medication which again induced a lot of hair fall but at that time i could do nothing about it so i just waited and then i have had my baby so during pregnancy it was okay the hair fall was not that much but then when he was born after a few months like two three months my hair started falling again and it was really bad but i couldn't do much about it even then because i was breastfeeding so if i took any supplements it would impact my baby i spoke to my obgyn and she said that once i stop breastfeeding then only i can take supplements if you have seen uh, one of my videos that i made a few months back uh, that was about all kinds of supplements that you need to take for your hair and skin but today i'm going to be specifically talking about only hair health and the supplements i have taken i'm going to be giving a very honest opinion today so basically i will recommend to all of you guys if you are having hair fall please include biotin supplements in your diet biotin really helps some people say that biotin uh, makes you gain weight i don't think it would it is the only reason that uh, you will have weight gain there can be many other reasons your hormones your diet can also impact your weight so don't blame biotin start with a smaller dose and then go your way up biotin supplements that are available in drugstores such as walmart walgreens are actually very affordable so 
other than biotin what else you can do so if if you don't want to take biotin only which like i decided that i would rather go with a supplement that is specifically made for hair and nails and so these uh, supplements that are uh, made for hair and nails the main ingredient of each of these supplements are also actually biotin but they also have a mixture of other vitamins so somehow they are formulated in such a way that they work even better on your hair so i decided to invest in a good supplement so i have shown you guys previously i still have the bottle and uh, this is one of the best uh, and this is actually empty now so i love the hum nutrition hair uh, supplements these are really good and one of the reasons i chose these are because these are vegan so i just kept the bottle to show you guys i have finished it already uh, so this is one of the supplements i recommend from hum, hum nutrition you will love it after taking this for a few days you will see the change in your hair quality that you, your hair will become shinier and you will see a lot of less hair fall so the main ingredient in this is also biotin so all hair supplements are basically biotin that's why i said that if you think these are a little bit more expensive go for just a simple biotin supplement so after having hum i decided that i would start taking halo beauty uh, this is one of the refills from my halo beauty so i didn't buy the bottle instead i bought some refills i used to put these capsules in this bottle and take them i have taken halo for five months now this is my sixth month packet and this will be my last month actually i didn't start this one instead i switched to some something else uh, because uh, to be very honest this is good I think they, they are way too expensive for me and I am not able to continue with this one and I also think that uh, this one specifically I don't know it just didn't do anything special for me it's just again working like any other biotin supplement it has reduced my hair fall my hair quality has become nice and so if i can get the same uh, benefit from a cheaper option why choose the you know more expensive option so this is my honest opinion about halo beauty uh, also one more thing i don't know but i had a feeling that maybe it broke me out sometimes but i'm not sure about that it can be many other reasons so i'm not going to say anything about it now uh, the final supplement that i'm going to be showing is the one that i think is the best so far i have tried i actually bought everything with my own money and i already ordered the next bottle which is on its way because i just finished this one i have taken pictures which i'll be inserting uh, in the screen showing that I had so much hair growth in just two months with this supplement hair growth as in lengthwise hair fall came down a lot I have uh, seen some baby hair as well and most importantly my hair which is actually very straight and um, fine but it has got some health back it's now shiny I, I like how my hair feels right now so my favorite supplement uh, at the moment is saint tropica true bloom you can see it's empty i have just finished it and the sec and the next bottle is on its way so right after i made this video i got my delivery for the next five months so you guys can see how much i loved it i i have never had such a good experience with any other supplements so my first choice would be saint tropica and second choice would be hum nutrition supplements if you are trying to you know take a good quality hair and nail supplement and if you think these are too expensive then just stick with biotin you will see good results with biotin trust me on this uh, biotin actually helps with hair growth and hair fall and now i'm going to share some other tips and some shampoos that i like to use which you can try uh, for if you're uh, suffering from hair thinning hair fall so yeah let's see something i would like to include in my video is that your hair brushes and combs actually matter so um, try to use a wide tooth comb for uh, combing your hair make sure that the teeth are not too sharp also you should be using a paddle brush paddle brushes paddle brushes are really good for your hair health and they also add a lot of volume and after sh showering if you get a lot of tangle like I do try to include a tangle teaser tangle teasers really help um, after shower 
so now i'm going to talk about my favorite shampoos and this part of the video is very important i would say just so you know that i have bought everything with my own money so i'm going to be as honest as i can if you are suffering from dandruff or buildup in your scalp like dry flakes then i'm going to show some recommendations that have helped me throughout the years and i think even if you don't have dandruff you should at least use one anti-dandruff shampoo once a week because everybody gets a little bit of buildup in their scalp and you need to get rid of that buildup. You can actually get a lot of acne from the dandruff. So you have to make sure that your scalp is dandruff free. And for that you have to use the proper products. Also if you suffer from fungal acne, you should include a ketoconazole shampoo as well. So whenever I get extreme flaking or itching and scaling in my scalp, I use the Nizoral shampoo. This one is one of the best in the world I would say. Uh, this one really helps with my acne as well. So I have always used this and when using this you can use a little bit of conditioner that, that way your hair won't get too dry but this is one of the best if you're suffering from fungal acne also try to include this shampoo in your routine you don't need to use it like too often just use it when needed especially during the winter the other anti-dandruff shampoo that i highly recommend is this uh, this mine is from uh, equid beauty this one i brought from walmart this is actually the same as the tea gel the famous tea gel shampoo from neutrogena this one is so good i never had any issues with dandruff after i started using this so you can either buy the tea gel or the this one from equid beauty which is a walmart brand ingredients wise these are exactly the same so just the price is a little bit less on this one i was using the tea gel and then i ran out and this is a brand new bottle so the best thing about this shampoo is that it works even after you have actually washed your hair and after many many days it actually keeps working it is also very good for those who are suffering from psoriasis so this is a very good dandruff shampoo remember scalp health especially if you have dandruff you might end up getting acne so you have to take care of your scalp for hair fall and volume i use this biotin and collagen shampoo this is from the drugstore and one of the most affordable biotin shampoos and one of the best biotin shampoos there are uh, there is also another one from hask uh, which is also very good so these this one gives a lot of volume as well as helps with the hair fall and over time I have seen a little bit of thickening of my hair and the hair quality improving so this is one of my favorites from drugstore from higher end shampoos I love using bumble and bumble thickening shampoo this is also a shampoo that gives you volume and body they perform in similar ways but price wise they are poles apart so it's your choice what you want to choose so all I'm going to say is that there are many shampoos most shampoos work as a cleansing agent so you have to make sure that you are buying a good quality shampoo so yeah i hope you guys will benefit from my video today Try my suggestions i think you guys will see some change i really hope so but please remember if you're pregnant or breastfeeding then do not take biotin unless you have consulted with your obgyn and if your hair fall is due to any other reasons like alopecia or any other medical concerns please consult your doctor before trying anything so i hope that some of you will benefit from this video today and if any of the products that i mentioned today helped you in any ways please let me know in the comments below and if you liked my today's video please put a thumbs up in the video and if you have not already subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel for more honest reviews tips tricks about healthcare, hair care skin care and anything that has ever benefited me i'm going to keep sharing with you guys so i hope you will all stay with me with my channel and keep supporting me until next time take care bye bye